right, back to our report on new evidence of political shenanigans across the country, the most recent ones looking like an effort to discredit the Tea Party from inside. Jason Lewis is a syndicated radio host who's been looking at the issue. Jason, great to see you today. Uh, good to see you again, Shannon. All right, so when we hear about these folks who are, whether they're showing up at rallies with signs that appear to be fakes or even getting on the ballot so they can get people's votes as a fake Tea Partier, what's your reaction? Well, it's not surprising. The Tea Party is the mother of all third-party movements, and that's a real threat, frankly, to both parties, but clearly the Democratic Party, because the Tea Party is about shrinking government, small, limited constitutional government, and that these days is the antithesis of the Democratic Party. It's gotten so bad that up in Washington, in the second district, a representative is showing photos of his opponent with Confederate flags and the Tea Party protest right behind them. Turned out it was a Civil War reenactment. I think the incumbent is Democratic uh, Rick Larson in the second congressional district. Kind of got caught uh, spreading these uh, smears about the Tea Party and his Republican opponent. Look at these Confederate flags and it turned out there was a Civil War reenactment, of course, in the photograph. What the imposters tell me, Shannon, uh, or show me, Shannon, is that the, the whole charge against the Tea Party was bogus to begin with if you have to put imposters in the movement or even on the ballot. What I think the establishment is worried about here, especially the Democratic establishment, is a third party scenario uh, gaining steam. The Tea Party movement is the mother of all third party movements and primarily is directed at big government types. So the Democrats are feeling awfully desperate and the polls reflect that. Uh, the idea that there will be these political machinations going on is nothing surprising to me. All right, Jason Lewis, always great to check in with you.